When it comes to growing our business, we can either tweak some dials and pull some levers based on things that we've already done, things that already work in our business to grow incrementally here and there, or we can focus on solving new problems with new solutions and kind of leapfrog ourselves and grow 10X. So I'm recently, I've recently started this book, 10X is easier than 2X, and it's a really catchy title, but once you dig into it, it makes a lot of sense. I was thinking about this when we were consulting with one of our clients this morning. We had a one hour Zoom call with one of our clients. Sydney and I had the call with this client, and we were talking about ways that we could leverage social media ads specifically to grow his business. He's got a business that's doing really well. They're doing a lot of things. He's not afraid to spend money. He's not afraid to test new things. And so what we're doing is we're building out two strategies in parallel with one another. So on the one hand, he's got three sales reps and he's like, hey, you know, leads are a little bit slow right now. I really want to grow. He's very aggressive, uh, ADHD entrepreneur, as I know a lot of people are, right? We've got three sales reps. I can definitely feed them some more leads. He's like, I want to I wanna launch some campaigns like today, like literally today, to start getting, getting them some more leads in the door so that they can have more appointments, make some more sales, great. And he's, he's like, I also want to build out this other thing, like this longer term, you know, funnel strategy so that we can achieve our goal of like 5x our, our, our revenue right now. You know, not overnight, but we want to start building that. OK, and it made a lot of sense. And I said, you know, I brought up the book and I said, yeah, we have our our 2x strategy over here, which is what we're going to do like right now to maybe double our lead flow, double our business. And then we have our 10X strategy over here that's gonna take a little bit more strategy, a little bit more planning, putting some more pieces in place. It's gonna take a bit more time, of course, but we wanna build that out as well. So what we're doing is we're building this thing and this thing at the same time. We're building these things in parallel with one another. So it's not, are we gonna do this or are we gonna do that? It becomes, how can we do this and do that? Now, if you listen to my content before in the past, like I'm not a big fan of like, you know, trying to take on too many things, right? We can do anything we want, but we can't do everything. However, I do believe that there's always like, you know, the, the short term strategy that is going to be based on things that we've done in the past, like improving on things we've done. And there's going to be that longer term strategy where it's like, hey, let's zoom out. Let's look at our business. Let's look at our our challenges, look at some of the solutions and how can we like figure out a 10x strategy that's going to be different from everything that we've always done before, right? If you've ever followed Russell Brunson, uh, ClickFunnels fame, started ClickFunnels, he talks about it as an improvement offer versus a new offer. The improvement offer, it's an offer, it's a service, it's a solution, whatever it is, a process. It's a slight improvement over the things we've always done. And there's all these things we can do in our business, right? We can raise our prices a little bit, we can cut expenses a little bit, we can tweak our sales process, tweak our marketing a little bit, little improvements that we can make and that we should absolutely make because there's so much profit that, that we can capture right away by just tweaking those dials and pulling those levers and flipping those switches, right? But there's also these other things like the, the, the new way of doing things. So let's forget about what we've done in the past. Let's focus on where we want to be in the future and then what's going to be required to get there. Because if we have ambitious goals of 3Xing or 5Xing or 10Xing our business, as I do, then it's not just going to be more of the same. It's not going to be what got us here is going to get us there. What got us here is not what's going to get us there. So we have to conceive, we have to brainstorm, we have to think about, we have to strategize new solutions to the same old problems because we need a different paradigm, a different way of looking at things. And so that's what we're helping this client out with today. That's what we're working on in our business uh, right now as well. Like there's always ways that we can deploy some campaigns, some emails, reach out to some past customers to generate more sales this week. And we, you know, absolutely do those things. But at the same time, I, as the business owner and the marketing director, am also focusing on like these longer term strategies that might be business development, that might be new markets, that might be completely like revamping our messaging, our offer, reconstructing our offers and things like that. Those are things that are long term. Those are more like I would say you could say working on the business, whereas the short term like 2x stuff is like tinkering in the business. And I believe as a business owner, as a leader, we need to 
constantly be working on both things, not at the same exact time, but on a weekly basis, I dedicate time in my calendar to work on the, the in the business type things and then the on the business type things. So as you're looking at how you wanna grow, make sure, and I would encourage you to make sure that you're working on solving you know, the 2X problem here and also the 10X thing here. Because if we just focus, the risk is if we just focus on the little tweaks here and there, only focus on that and don't focus on the big picture, then we're gonna get stuck there. We're always gonna be tinkering. We're always gonna be operating from this scarcity mindset of how do I get out some more campaigns or get out some more content or get out some more ads or knock some more doors. And we're always gonna be hustling to try to grow incrementally. So that's the risk if we only focus on that. However, if we're only focused on that big picture, then we fall victim to like, not victim, I hate that word, but then we are at risk for, you know, not, not staying in business, not sustaining business long enough for that big, hairy, audacious goal to reveal itself. So I believe that we need to focus on both at the same time. And I do that personally by dedicating time in my calendar every week to make sure that we're focusing on the now, the contractor dynamics business now, and then the future contractor dynamics. So as you're putting your growth plans into place, as you're planning out your week, as you're looking at how you can have the biggest impact on your company, on your community, on your industry, whatever that means for you, make sure that you're focusing time on a weekly basis on the 2X and also on the 10X. So hope that makes sense. I really recommend this book by Benjamin Hardy and Dan Sullivan. They write some amazing books that are really just, you know, they they just make a lot of sense, right? They're not really hard to read. They're pretty easy to read. And there's tons of little light bulb moments that go off. So highly recommend the book. And beyond that, as always, please let me know what you thought of this episode. If there's a space, leave a comment below on the YouTube or send me a message on Instagram at HeyJosephHughes. We'd love to connect with you over there. Ultimately, I love sharing the things that we're working on as a business, I'm working on as a leader, and things that we are also helping our clients with on a daily basis as well. So go out there, have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon.